guys, we're going to start this year with a banger. Credits to Diz for his open source injector. We've made an edited version, stripped of a couple things and updated it to 9.00 and rebranded it a little bit just for our channel. So you're going to want to download this folder or zip that we're going to provide. It will have the injector and then the free menu in it. Uh, for Patreon members, you'll have the Patreon me uh, menu that you can download either from Patreon or from us directly if you are obviously a donator. But yeah, so to get started. So, first thing, let's go through the requirements. Now, as always, we will have a text tutorial with all links, downloads, and everything in it. So, let's get into it. First thing you're going to need is a jailbroken PS4. That is a console on 9.0 and below. Now, you need to have a 9.0 and below for this to work. If you don't, or if it's higher than 9.0, you're out of luck. You're going to have to find one or buy a service or find someone with a 9.0 console that you can buy. Secondly, you're going to need an injector. So a GSG injector, a laptop or a PC, a mod menu of your choice, and then the download files. So, first things first, we're going to want to jailbreak the console, and that's as easy as loading harrow218.ir, going to 9.0, and clicking Golden Hen. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that using Caro. As you can see, I'm on Caro's website right now. You can use a host of your choice. There's many out there. I use Caro because it works the best for me. Now, I'm not going to show you how to jailbreak a 9.0 console, but there's plenty of YouTube videos. I'll link you to Modded, War Modded Warfare's video on how to do it, and you can do it from there. So once you've got a jailbroken console, you're going to want to go to Caro 218 and enable Golden Hen. Firstly, it's going to cache the website. So as you can see, it's up to 88%. Once that's done, I'll be back after I reload the website or the website application. It tells you to reopen the page. So as you can see, you close it, reopen it, and you are there. Now, the first three lines at the top are what you're gonna need. I use the one on the far right or the one in the middle. Just depends on my mood, I guess. But you can use whatever. Use the one on the right for the sake of this video. As you can see, I do get an error at first. All you're gonna do is press accept and just do it again. If your console crashes, Turn on your console, click it again. Not enough free memory. There you go. Click it again, and you'll get the notification to insert your USB. Once you do that, it's as simple as closing the website. So as you can see, I insert a USB now. And you'll see a notification in the top left saying, USB not recognized. So you'll see that in a second. And there it is. I normally wait for it to go away before I click anything. So as you can see, I let it go away and then I click OK. Remove the USB from the PS4 and then click OK again or close internet browser at your choice. I click OK and then close it. From there, once that's done, you're going to want to load Black Ops 3, making sure it's on 1.33 or whatever version you want to do it on. 1.33 is the latest, so I, I recommend that. Once Black Ops 3 loads, you're going to ensure that you are connected to online. So as in online, I mean you're connected to your Wi-Fi. Remember on a jailbroken console, you're not actually going online. Everything is going to be offline. So again, connect to the internet on your console to make sure your console itself is connected and online within the internet. From there, you're going to want to go to multiplayer or zombies. If you're doing a zombies menu, go to zombies. If you're doing multiplayer, go to multiplayer. You want to put your IP in the PS4 IP. Obviously, have your jailbroken console set up and accept in bin loader. So, enter your IP, enter the port 9090. Browse for the menu, public or Patreon. We'll do the Patreon one. But if you've only got one, obviously use the one you've got. Click connect. Open Black Ops 3 on your console. Once it is open, click attach. And you'll get connected and attached in the connection status. And then click inject and you'll notice on your screen on the console it will say injected and that's pretty much it you have now successfully loaded the modded the mod menu sorry 
And yeah, you can start doing services or you can start doing whatever you want, having some modded lobbies with your friends, if they're in your household. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. A lot of time and effort went into these videos. I don't know if you guys are aware, but we have completely redone our whole Discord and the way we work it. Uh, just going to go through it quickly now so you understand. The Will and the, the Climb channels exclusively for verified members who have either sent screenshots of them being subscribed, following on TikTok, following on Twitter, and yeah, pretty much all donators and customers get access to those Discord channels. But if you are just a, I'm going to call it a general member, you don't have access to those anymore. We have removed that from your permissions. All you need to do to get that permission back is open a ticket, send the proof of you following or subscribed, and you'll get access. If you become a customer or donator, you'll get access straight away. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy. There's plenty more to come from this year. Everyone stay safe. See you soon.
and distort reality, providing a means for their masters to overwhelm this world. Sounds like we're about to hit a big payday. Only another sacrifice will save their appetite. 